Hey guys and gals, and welcome back to another episode of Andrew's Boozy Concoctions. So, my lovely viewers, today I'm going to be making a cocktail classic, and that is the Grasshopper. The Grasshopper is a classic drink. They say it was made first in the early 20s. Um, it's a three ingredient cocktail. So, for this drink, you will need white creme de cacao and green creme de menthe. Now the third ingredient, you can use any kind of milk. Um, it's most commonly used with this drink. Um, so normally with the grasshopper, you would use what's called half and half, but we don't have half and half here in Australia. So hence why we're just using milk. Now, because I'm lactose intolerant, I can't have full cream milk or even skim milk. So I gotta use lactose free. You can use soy milk if you like, or almond milk, but so I'm trying to keep this traditional as possible without making myself sick. The beauty of this cocktail is it's all three equal parts. So it's impossible to forget or screw up. Now, let's, uh, let's begin this. So first off, one ounce of white creme de cacao. Please use white. Dark creme de cacao would be one, too dark, and second of all, it'd be too cocoa-y. White creme de cacao has a sort of like milky cream flavor, and this is what really complements this drink so nicely. Next, one ounce of milk, or half and half, if you like. Now I've got a whole two. There it goes. And now, one ounce of green creme de menthe, which is actually one of my favorite liqueurs. You could use white creme de menthe, but the green creme de menthe is what gives this color. The grasshopper traditionally is green, so hence why we're using creme de menthe. Should have done this drink for St. Patrick's Day. It's a green creme de menthe. Goes. Now I'll give it that real nice colour and minty uh, flavour as well, which is what the grasshopper is famous for. Also, with the grasshopper as well, some people add ice to it, some don't. It's personal preference, but if you want it real nice and chilled, I'd say, yeah, throw a couple of ice, ice cubes in there as well. Tap on and shake. Some say the grasshopper cocktail was born in New York. Some say it was born in Manhattan. I'm not too uh, sure. All I know is this cocktail tastes delicious. And it's an old classic. And it's a very underrated drink as well, in my opinion. Here we are. Beautiful. <laughs> And there you go guys, that's the grasshopper there, right there. Now if you do it with half and half, it comes out really creamy, but with milk it still comes out just as nice. Personally it's a very, like I said, underrated drink in my opinion, very fun, very simple, um, and great parties. I'm just going to give us a little taste. Mm -mm -mm. That is a beautiful drink. That's actually really nice. I real, I love really minty um, drinks, but no, it's a little um, beauty to do this side uh, drink. Well, that's all we have time for today, guys. Um, I will see you guys next time. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And well, I'll see you next time. In the meantime, stay boozy. <laughs>